Hello and welcome to this MOOC on water supply and sanitation policy in developing countries. This is part two entitled Developing Effective Policy Interventions. My name is Dale Whittington. I'm a professor at the Alliance Manchester Business School in the UK and at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the United States. And I'm a visiting professor at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. Hello, I'm Duncan Thomas, a lecturer at the Alliance Manchester Business School. In this MOOC, we're going to help you to understand the political, economic, social and technical dimensions of some of the most promising policy interventions that have been proposed to solve global water and sanitation problems. This is important because about half a billion people on our planet still lack access to improved water supplies, and about two billion do not have improved sanitation services. In this part two, we will look at some of the policy interventions that donors, national governments, and water utilities have tried to improve water and sanitation conditions around the world. We'll critically study what lessons can be learned from these experiences. Current water and sanitation conditions cause an unknown but very large number of avoidable deaths each year from water-related diseases. Millions of dollars are spent on avoidable health care expenses, and billions of hours are wasted by people, mostly women, carrying water from sources outside the home. Reducing these huge costs associated with poor water and sanitation services is one of the major global challenges for us all in the 21st century. Technologies to provide networked water and sanitation services are well known. But for decades, the international community and national governments have struggled to find the right institutional and financial arrangements to provide these technologies to poor households in developing countries. This MOOC is therefore not a simple overview of technologies that could be used to improve water and sanitation conditions around the world in megacities, peri-urban slums, and rural communities. We must look at how efforts to improve water and sanitation conditions are embedded in institutions and guided by policy. In this part two, we'll examine six main types of water and sanitation policy interventions, spread across seven sessions of content. I've spent over 40 years of my career studying water and sanitation policy and planning issues in low and middle income countries. I've worked on these issues in over 25 countries for the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, OECD, and the United States Agency for International Development. And I've served on the technical committee of the Global Water Partnership in Stockholm, Sweden. And the Global Water Partnership has endorsed this MOOC. I'm also chair of the board of the Environment for Development Network based in Gothenburg, Sweden. We have EFD research centers in Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, South Africa, Costa Rica, Colombia, Chile, India, China, and Vietnam with active research programs in environmental policy issues, including water and sanitation. I've researched water and innovation issues for around 15 years, and I've advised water utility leaders, water sector suppliers, regulators and policymakers in the UK and Europe. Our MOOC features video lectures and interactive elements, and you'll get to read some of the most influential, thought-provoking papers in this field. We will discuss case studies from many different developing countries. And then we will use these cases to illustrate available evidence about the effectiveness of different policy interventions. You will also be able to watch interviews with leading water and sanitation experts from around the world about the challenging situations they face and the policy interventions they think are most effective. In this MOOC, we hope you'll develop skills to understand how to tackle a complex, controversial policy problem, one that has no simple, easy answers. You'll learn that the evidence policymakers need is sometimes missing or controversial you'll be able to assess better the quality of evidence and how to reach sound policy-relevant conclusions. And you'll discuss issues with your fellow learners who may have very different perspectives from yours on the global water and sanitation challenges and the effectiveness of different policy interventions. Our Part 1 MOOC on water and sanitation was first offered in 2014. Over 17,000 learners from around 185 countries joined us. If you were one of them, we look forward to welcome you back for this Part 2. If you have not ta already taken Part 1, you're still very welcome to start with Part 2. However, you will find that Part 2 relies on a conceptual framework for policy analysis that we introduced in Part 1. So you may want to take Part 1 before starting this Part 2. It's entirely up to you. We hope you enjoy this MOOC.